Welcome back to our Let's Play of Driver San Francisco. We're starting out with the famous, fabled freeway face-off. I don't know. I didn't think it was all that bad when I actually played it. How'd you do? Uh, took me... So not counting abortive attempts that I restarted in the first, you know, 30 seconds of the race, it took me three tries that I made it, you know, a good chunk of the way in. Well, how many tries do you think it'll take me? Because as requested, I have edited out zero of them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We we're playing at normal speed, so it wasn't so many that you needed to yakety saxify it. Um, he says now. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <man>. uh, <laughs> I'm. I'll be terrible. I'm going to say it took you four tries. Okay. That'd be pretty exciting if uh, you actually beat me at this challenge. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know. Did you... Do, do, does your try counter include, like, things where you crash in the first, you know, while still in the Golden Gate and just hit restart? Because I did this that This is unedited, times. so we can Yeah, we but can unedited that. doesn't mean while you are playing, you know, you don't have to play each time through until you officially lose. Well, we'll see. Okay. That's all I'm saying about that. It's a pretty fun car to drive. McLaren. McLaren, actually, for real, now that I can see the details. Yeah. Um, oof. I like the concept of this race a lot. Too. Yeah. Just racing around all the freeways. It's a good idea. Yep. That turn right there at the very beginning, the, the, the one that you handled very well, actually, is, I think, the tightest curve in this entire race. The real hazard here is the slight grades and the gentle turns that you can't see the traffic around the other or over the top of that wasn't the real hazard for me the hazard for me is all the vehicles that's what i mean and uh, well, i mean vehicles are fine when you can see them coming and plot the route but there's a couple times where there will be little hills or you know going over small bridges and you can't clearly see what's coming in time to react to it so you kind of have to cross your fingers and hope yeah so let me walk you through my thought process right here right now i'm thinking i'm a baller and this is the easiest challenge ever. And I'm totally going to nail it on my first try. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's see how long this holds up. But for now, I'm, like, totally unimpressed by the challenge set forth for me. Yeah. I mean, the the 6 minute 30 second time limit is surprisingly tight. I didn't do this much boosting because I was never sufficiently confident uh, until the very end, I never did this much boosting. See that? You couldn't yeah. see that taxi. Yep, fact. Um, I never did that much boosting because I was just too focused on driving carefully and stuff. Um, and I made it at 6 minutes 27 seconds when I finally succeeded. So it was right up to the wire. And I was hoping to pray. So the timing was always the most challenging thing for you. Not, uh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, oh shit. Um, oh, and it passed you. Uh, when it finally, when I finally made it into that final position with enough health, that was the thing that really killed me. The first couple attempts that were really good is I just health. Yeah, particularly the final stretch through San Francisco, which is deadly because it doesn't feel like it ought to be that long, but it really is. It's like a third of the race's total length is in San Francisco. Uh, once between the Bay and Golden Gate Bridges. Yep. Because um, you go across the Bay Bridge and you're like, yeah, home stretch, but it's not. And traffic for there, for some reason, is a lot harder. And I don't know if it's just psych psychological because, you know, end of the race kind of stuff, but. Totally agree. It I definitely lost around the second to last checkpoint once because I just ran out of health. Yeah. I rear Health was one definitely part. the biggest risk for me for most of it. Yeah, you, like, I doubt you're going to make this, and I bet you're going to run out of health before anything else happens. Okay. Interesting, though, my first attempt was also way better than my, you know, second through seventh attempts. <laughs> and then I, then I got the hang of it again. But Here we go. Over the bridge. Home stretch! Yeah, this is the disastrous part. At this point, I think I haven't even realized that my health is the limiting factor. 
I thought that it was always going to be the most challenging part was one, beating him, and two, doing it in enough time. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really driving very safely here, which maybe is why I'm doing so well, because I'm not focused on it or stressing out about it. Uh, but that, like, that totally caught me off guard right there. Yo. I did not even realize that my health was so low. As near as I can tell. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you didn't actually put it in. <laughs> no, I, I may. I may. It's not too late. We'll oh. see. Well, okay, so guys, if there's Yakety Sacks here, he added it in post. I'm just <laughs> listening to absolutely nothing. Not even, not even sped up sound effects. Yep, this it's pretty great. entertaining, though. Yo, know, I love it. Um, the video does speak for itself. There you go, I passed him. Yeah, I kind of so, want to watch the whole game at this speed. Sorry, <laughs> you were saying? My theory is that if you make it in time, you'll beat him. Like, you don't even need to worry about passing him. Oh, God. Oh, wow, that was a section on the wrong side of the highway. Oh, uh, yeah. This is how I roll. Uh-huh. I think if you do it in 6.30, you'll win. Right. I'm not sure, but he definitely crashes. Like, it's much worse AI than they give the drivers in the straight-up street races. Um, he gets into major crashes quite a bit. Hey, attempt number two. <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm I won't count attempts yeah. where you, like, lose right away or something. Yeah, I, um, I'm i pretty good at getting to the last two to three checkpoints and then failing this challenge. You're not near the last two to three checkpoints. You still have, like, ten to twelve ahead of you there. No, I mean, in attempt number two there, that was pretty close no, to No, it end. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh, you, were really? all, you weren't even over the Bay Bridge yet. Uh, it yeah, feels right. like it should be the end, but it's not. There's a long to, bit to go at the end there. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a challenge. Doing, doing a lot better this time. Fast forward, though. He says as I spin out and crash and yeah. lose half my health. This was a hell of it. In my final run, he was also, he you know, got ahead of me around here or so. And then I started panicking. Right. And started like yeah, boosting any chance that. I had. And he eventually wrecked himself without me having to really do anything except drive carefully and keep moving. Like we just saw. Yeah. The key to this really is just not crashing. I don't even yep. know. You may have to boost a bit to make it. Certainly, I, I, my suspicion is that if you literally never crash and keep the throttle, uh, keep the, you know, the pedal, oh god, this is awful. I know, right? So bad. 26 of 30. I was doing okay, so, so good. It, it wasn't that you had that many, just, it's a long distance. It's a deceptively long distance. Um, yeah. For the last few checkpoints. Um, oh, yes. No, I think you're right, though. Like, if you can beat the time and keep your car oh. alive, that's what the challenge is. This is awful. I uh, can't believe he's having as much trouble as I am. Oh, I, it's no, like they, I, the game really wants me to win right now. Yeah. Um, I suspect that if you can do a perfect race, then without boosting, as long as you keep the gas pedal pressed to the metal the entire time, you'll, you'll make it and win in under 630. Oh, come on. I, I am Pull nowhere, yourself together. <laughs> I am nowhere near good enough to test this. And I definitely, you know, had some hits and had to use boost to make up for them. But but it's, it's, the timer isn't very tight. Yeah. The challenge isn't the timer. No. Well, for me, it kind of was. But I mean, ultimately, the challenge boils down to... 29 of 30. 30 seconds to go. Oh, come on. There it is. It's right there. Let off the gas. Got to straighten yourself out first. There he is. He's right behind me. Are you ready for this? I can see the finish line. I can taste it. There it is. Oh. Finish line. No. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally see the finish line. Uh -huh. It was 10 feet in front of me on a 30 mile race. Uh, six. Six in the... Uh, well, actually, I don't know. No, never mind. It's more than... I have no idea how long it is now. Yeah, see, I won't count that as an attempt. So we're on attempt okay. four here. Four. Oh, my. Oh, we're back to the mute driver. <laughs> yeah. These dares and challenges are fun, though. Yeah. In many ways, more fun than the main campaign. I mean, the main campaign was really good, and I'm, I really enjoyed it, but... You get so much more value out of this game well, just by coming back to replay all this stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of content here. Some of the story missions are amazing. 
And I really wish well, you could replay there's more that than, well. There's more than half the game here. Yes, I think. certainly. It's, it's just been really fun to goof around in it. And the funny thing is, I probably would have totally overlooked it if we weren't doing this LP. Ugh. Ugh that counts as an again. attempt, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're on five. Woohoo! Your Ramp own weakness. Truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is vertiginous. Uh, still attempt five. Still attempt five. Oh, okay. You're being generous. I am. Like, mm. the basically, I, I guess it's around the midway point that I start to consider it real. Yep. No, I, I understand that. Oh. So it was fun recording our LP in the same location uh, last week. Yeah. That was actually also my first time experiencing a uh, Midwestern State Fair. You guys throw quite a party. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I Honestly, I didn't know what to expect, <laughs> and uh, it was a one-of-a-kind experience. I highly recommend it for anyone who hasn't yeah. been to a, a big country... State it's not fair. really a country. I mean, so we're, we're talking here about the Minnesota State Fair, um, which is, as far as I know, and I am admittedly not expert, fairly distinct from most of the other, you know, fairs you'll see, because the fairgrounds is located pretty much in the heart of the Twin Cities itself. Yeah, that like surprised it's, me. It's in St. Paul. So, although there's lots of events of, you know, like animals and stuff, there's also a tournament that's basically aimed at drawing in city people and, you know, suburb people. There's park and ride stations where they will bus you in all around the Twin Cities. So it's not like they are aiming to attract many more just, you know, visitors to the fair than country people interested in seriously evaluating their fellows and competing and stuff. Yeah. But it had plenty of uh, plenty from both categories to do, yeah, and I've been to the California State Fairs, and uh, where's that they one? Dwarf in comparison. Where is the California State Fair held? Uh, is it in Sacramento? I'm trying to remember. Somewhere north. I've been there uh, once or twice. I've actually been to the LA County State Fair too. Huh. Um, but these these the, these fairs have nothing. They're paltry comparison. <laughs> we walked more than ten miles. I had a pedometer on. Yes, you did. The State Fair. Uh, that was just crazy. Ooh, you're just making great time on this run. I know, check this out. It's like, once I'm in the zone, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> so, my parents came out the weekend. Hooray! There attempt number five. Winning. Thank you. Um, my parents came out the weekend after you guys, because when we first moved out here, we had a big housewarming party uh, centered around the state fair, and they were like, oh my god, this is so good! And they centered on the bucket full of cookies option. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember if we showed you that or not. Uh, there's a place you can buy a, literally a bucket full of cookies. Oh, yeah, we saw that. That was awesome. You probably saw people walking around with them. Um, and, but it was situated far away from all of the uh, milk, all the milk stations. It, yeah, it's a, it's a couple blocks away, but whatever. Although, here, if I may draw your attention, oh. we are <laughs> uh, attempting to unlock the Jeep Wrangler. And okay. uh, to do so, we need to attempt the relay challenge. Oh, this is one I was talking had about. Had so much fun with, yeah. Oh no, you chose a Stratos for the first leg? Hell yeah, I did. No, I happened to just be in the Stratos. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's, it's going to yeah, be that's nice the, and drifty. That's the last car you um, activated from your garage. Yeah. Okay, it's so only anyway, going to be. My, a, my parents uh, are at the fair, and my mom's like, I want to see some like of the animals and stuff. So we saw there was a western horse show um, in the big coliseum thing, which you never even went inside, because normally we've never been there. And so we go, um, and we sit there, and about ten minutes after it's supposed to start, they do this thing called a trailer race, where like there's teams, and they have to take a horse out of the trailer and get it dressed, and then ride it a couple laps around the rink, uh, rink arena, and then get it back into the trailer, and all the tackle and stuff off. And I know I am misusing every possible term, like, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, they did that, and it took two minutes, like two and a half for the slowest team. Then wow. there was a lull while they ran a dirt Zamboni 
around I've me. seen that. I've seen the dirt Zamboni. Isn't that hilarious? I want to know if it's the oh, same man. guys who, like, drive the actual Zambonis in the winter. On the ice skating rink? Yeah, yeah. Like whether they moonlight in the summer at a county fair and stuff doing dirt Zamboni. It's definitely a different piece of hardware, but you're right. The operation looks pretty similar. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the path they took looked exactly the same as at a hockey game. Yeah. Um, I was just wine tasting in Central California, and we saw some sort of horse competition going on nearby, and we just walked in. And yeah, I think I stumbled upon something very similar to what you're describing. Yeah, except I bet that yours was interesting because... So anyway, so we got, you know, <laughs> five minutes late, or ten minutes late, followed by two minutes of uh, dirt... You know, two minutes of interesting race, followed by ten minutes of dirt Zamboni. <laughs> And then they did the horsemanship competition. Ooh. And they had 12 women on horses. And here's what they did. One woman would go and walk her horse up. And then she would demonstrate horse control and, like, walk the horse backwards three steps. Turn around in a circle as tightly as possible. Do a wide loop with a sort of slow canter demonstrate the slowest possible trot that they could get the horse to correctly have that gait. And then move so it's to not the even other. like dressage, like horse dancing. It was, some it sort was of honestly <laughs> one of the most boring things I have ever seen. <laughs> like, it, this went on for literally 40 minutes. I, I was like, I might die. Like, Do I have think... never had so little stimulus in my life. Is this like some of those Olympic sports where it's like everybody wants their son to be a gold medalist swimmer? So rather than setting up for that, you know, why don't you have a child and set him up to win the curling championship or something even more obscure? Is I mean, this I'm like that where some parent was like, I think we can win the state fair if we were, were raise women. our child to be great at horse whispering? These were these were adult women, and you hear this clearly took a tremendous amount of skill. Like, I do not mean to denigrate the horsemanship and skill on display here because it was impressive it was just incredibly <laughs> boring not like, exactly a spectator sport. no not even remotely like there was just and like the point where my mom was saying ooh her horse you know moved its head a bit I bet she's not as good you know the sort of thing where you, <laughs> you, you watch this for long enough you begin picking up on the minute uh, issues <laughs> and differences and you become uh, in, in that moment a connoisseur of horsemanship but oh my god so if you're following here, we're in the third car. I got to pick the first car, then we did it in a dune buggy, and now we're doing it in a VW here. So, so we were Pretty told, fascinating concept for a race. We went to this show because they, in the description, said that there would be barrel racing, which is a fun okay. event where they are racing around, you know, horse in a very tight That course. was the event that I watched. Yeah, that marked by barrels, and it's, you know, really interesting, and it is both speed and control at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't great. know when that was going to be. So anyway, after <laughs> the 40 minutes of horsemanship slash, you know, assisted suicide. Um, <laughs> I think it's incredible that you sat through the whole 40 my minutes, mom to be honest, because there's so to. much to do. My mom, there's so much to do at that fair. My, my parents insisted. <laughs> my mom, because they really wanted to see the barrel. Anyway, so next they did a display from the St. Paul Police Department Mounted Unit. A demonstration, right? That sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, mounted yeah. police. Wow, I can't believe they use mounted police. I wonder what fun stuff they get to do. So they it's had the same the, thing. No, 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 no. Almost oh, worse. Okay. So they. Oh no, you're not going to lose this at the last moment, are you? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. So it's a nail they biter. had four policemen on horses, and they had one policeman wearing an orange jumpsuit, and he was playing, and I quote, "the bad guy." <laughs> Ooh, nice. Come on, pull this out. Pull this out. Oh, yeah, that man. corner was necessary. It's still going to count it, though. Oh. Second place is the first... Well, no, not the first loser. Is the second winner in this <laughs> case. Okay, <laughs> so here's what ha happened. So they had that guy. And the demonstration was like, so here is how we would arrest someone on a horse. And two of the oh, horses, God. like walked up to him slowly and like put <laughs> handcuffs on it's like here is how we would trap someone against a wall with a horse and the horses slowly walked up to him and pressed him against the wall 
Here is how we would rest them by keeping them between two horses. Let <laughs> two horses walked up and surrounded. Here is how we would get away from a single person trying badly to unhorse us. And like the horse turned in circles while he listlessly grabbed at the rider's ankles. It was amazing how boring they made horses. And meanwhile, you're contemplating your new life of crime. You're like, if this is all it takes to outsmart the mounted police. To be fair, it looked effective. I'm like, yeah, you're right. If a horse pressed me up against the wall, that would be a pretty effective... <laughs> Just, why do you need to demonstrate? And so, as you can see, horses are large. How large are they, however? Let's compare them again. This horse, as you can see, is much bigger than this man who you saw the horse <laughs> next to a few moments earlier. Just, it was the dull, dullest experience. I lost like an hour of my life in that coliseum. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, here I am in the Jeep Wrangler, uh, and this is going to quickly become, over the course of several challenges, my least favorite video, uh, least favorite vehicle in the game, even behind the Stratus. All right. Let's see. So thanks all you jerks who suggested all these terrible cars for me to romp around <laughs> in. <laughs> anyway, my parents are deeply into the deep fried slash on a stick mystique of the fair. Oh, um, I was too. It's impossible to not get swept away by that. Yeah. So uh, this this manifest at one point, like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to use my dessert credit, as it were, on a s'mores. I just want s'mores. And there's a place that sells them. That sounds really good. And we go up and my mom's like, wait, those aren't deep fried. And I'm like, no, but I like s'mores. She's like, aw. And she kind of makes this disappointed face. And I'm like, fine. And I walk her over and we get instead a deep fried s'more on a stick. And, she, and this, <laughs> you know, she doesn't want to say anything. This clearly makes her very, very happy. <laughs> yep. Well, I that was my first time actually, believe it or not, trying a deep fried candy bar. I believe I had a deep fried Milky Way. Yep. It was much better than I thought it was gonna be. Yes. I thought it was gonna be terrible because I was thinking of fried like tempura. <laughs> and this was not that. I was like, tempura Milky Way? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> yes, it does. But this is my whole life that you're laughing about. My entire life I've thought this about <laughs> deep fried candy bars. I was like, why would you possibly for, temper a For what delicious, percentage of your life were you aware of the existence of deep fried candy bars? I think actually a lot of people, even if you don't grow up near a state fair, are aware of the concept of deep frying things at state fairs. Well, this is nice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I, my wife has decided she actually enjoys, for real, deep fried candy bars. And like, gets one now when she goes. And I like I, I always have a bite and like yes that is tasty and now I have had enough deep fried candy bar for the year because I just I can't take eating that much of something that sweet and heavy. Yeah, is a similar way I feel about cheese curds. I two cheese curds per year is about my limit. And to be fair, for everybody listening to this podcast, who that is the first description they have ever heard of your wife. She's actually quite beautiful. Oh, yes. And not the kind of woman who eats deep fried no, candy bars no, she, she, all of the time. No, she's the kind of woman <laughs> who works out, is very small, and also has this metabolism that comes from a <laughs> I just don't want you selling her too short. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, had first day of kids being at school today um, right so and the only thing they know about my wife so far is she's a doctor who works with poop <laughs> that, that was that was the it wasn't intentional but uh, that was the introduction they got in the time we had who also loves deep fried candy bars oh shoot I now realize I probably said enough to uh, reveal her identity to on the forums who have heard her talk about being a doctor who works with me. Sorry <laughs> if, if she can hear me downstairs. <sighs> oh, well. So here's where I thought the Jeep was really going to excel. I don't know why I thought it would be a good off-roading vehicle, but this is where it falls apart for me every time. This is my second attempt on this checkpoint race, and the off-roading sections just kill me. It's just not a good vehicle. I don't know how else to describe it. It's drifty, it's um, it's 
slow. I mean, it looks cool. I love Jeets in real life, for sure. But um, not in this racing game, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, they appear to have successfully muddled the fact that it's really top-heavy. Is that true? I guess it has it the, the roll heavy. cage on it. Actually, maybe not. You know what? Ignore me. I don't have the slightest clue. I just looked at it. <laughs> that vehicle looks really top-heavy, but maybe I'm... Well, I have managed to flip it twice, so apparently... You now, might be onto something. Now do one of these challenges in a hover. It appears to just have kind of terrible cornering and drifting. Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah, so I think if I don't give up here, I'm about to give up on uh, this Jeep. I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to complete a challenge in it, but it's a terrible car. And screw you for suggesting that I complete a challenge in it. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll be able to do that. Get above 100 miles an hour jump over those vehicle. are annoying because they require you to be like exactly above a vehicle not just jump you know and like it, it measures it precisely oh interesting like your center has to pass over that vehicle's center which is way harder to do on purpose than you'd expect um and there's another dare later that's to jump over three vehicles in 45 seconds and i just i don't even know how to begin with that one shifting i assume right yeah but the situation of jumping over a vehicle is so specific and difficult to engineer that i would just put a ramp truck in front of a vehicle and then shift into the three vehicles behind the ramp truck but the, either the ram truck or the other vehicle or both will drive out of position while you're... I guess if you can manage to wreck both the ram truck and the other vehicle at the same time, that might... Or just pin it against a low barrier. Oh, huh. Interesting. The, the problem is ram trucks are so hard to destroy. And I love how the gears are turning in your head here. This is like as much of a puzzle as it is a well, challenge. Well, it clearly is a puzzle, and I just... Like... I haven't attempted that one yet, to be fair. It starts you out near a ramp that's sort of facing a, a street, so you should be able to, like, jump off the ramp over the street. But the street's not very heavily trafficked, so... I don't know. I haven't figured out the puzzle aspect of it yet. Oh, you should talk about the uh, souvenirs you picked up for your girlfriend at the safe fair. Yeah, so we got a Spam snow globe, and uh, we got to visit Spamville, yeah. which is, of course, a little villa set up in the safe fair. And we got a, a Spam snow globe commemorating the Spam Museum in uh, Austin, Minnesota. I believe it's I the Spam the Factory in Austin, Minnesota. Spam Factory, yeah. And then uh, I got a little miniature Spam truck, and then I also got a... Uh, Plushy cow at the Minnesota State Fair. Ah. Fun time. Yeah. I had no idea. I'd go, spam I'd go was again. A, I had a great time. Yeah. I had no idea spam was a Minnesota native thing. I didn't know that either. I don't actually know if I'd, it comes from here, but it appears to be made here now. I always associate it with Hawaii. Spam, spam katsu and other things like that being popular in Hawaiian dishes. Cool. So I'm not doing terribly here, but this is one of the earliest races you unlock in the entire game, and it's balanced to be very easy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the Jeep Wrangler sucks in this. <laughs> it's kind Moral of... Moral of the story. Oh, this one has an actual top with, like, a um, windshield and stuff, not just a robot. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about this game is it doesn't allow you to, to customize your car at all, but it will randomly customize it for you every time you load into it. So sometimes it'll be a different color, or sometimes it'll have the top up, or other things like that. Mm -hmm. Fail. Forget this car, man. This That's car is fair. garbage. I think you've shown <laughs> off why you're not going to show it off. <laughs> I didn't even see the first place racers, so they must have been way ahead of you. Yeah. Is that the end of the list of cars you were supposed to try, though? I'm trying to remember what else is on my list. This will be an experience for me as well, trying to relive the magic here. <laughs> you know what, though? I think I'm just like, I want to get a win. 
So you know the win that I've selected? Boost for four seconds. The one that you could do in any car as long as you have the requisite boost purchased. Excellent. Hey, I, I popped up on that. How about that? Yep. <laughs> I wonder if you're going to play Driver San Francisco. Oh, hey. You're playing Driver San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> no way! We gotta do a multiplayer video together. Yeah. Day if I have to. So you see how amazing the Jeep Wrangler is? It can boost for four <laughs> seconds <laughs> as long as you have four seconds of boost equipped in that vehicle. <laughs> Triumph. <laughs> Triumph of modern technology. So um, we attempted to play same screen, split screen multiplayer while you're out here. So we uh, mm -hmm. didn't have any way to make a recording, but we do have a you know trip report and stuff. And the trip report <laughs> is, God damn it, that does not work on standard CRT televisions. Yeah. I mean, it's hard enough on any screen. Yeah. But, but it um, splits the screen. Is quite difficult. Yeah, it splits the screen with a vertical line. So it divides the screen in half horizontally, as it were. Which, if you know, on a widescreen TV means each player has a roughly square-ish field of vision. Here it meant we had, like, a tall rectangle. Yeah, in standard definition, which is not 16 by 9, yeah, that was quite impressive. Yeah. We did all right, though. We managed to beat at least one of the challenges. Did we? Which one? Uh, the racing one we did all right on, right? Some of the other ones oh, we had yeah. a lot of trouble with. Um, I guess we'll show off the specific modes. Just going to say... Yeah, those are available in... in uh, not local multiplayer as well. This is the Countach. Yeah, another Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it recovered from that pretty nicely, actually. And uh, I think what I'm actually attempting to do right here is you gave me a challenge to do a barrel roll. Again. So <laughs> that's just I, uh, you know that that's a dare, right? Not just a random thing I wanted you to try. I had no idea. I thought you just wanted me to do no, a barrel roll. No. So here I am just tooling around trying to do a barrel roll. No, That's there's an, actual, an dare? actual dare to do, to not just do, but to land a barrel roll. And oh, it's fabulous. very difficult. Well, apparently this car is very good at losing the cops. Yeah. All the Lamborghinis just handle perhaps more arcade but really, really I, easy. I want to do it all over again. I, I would love to see you do a barrel roll, but yeah, you have to catch just the outside of a wheel, more or less. Of one wheel, one or wheel. of the two wheels on the left side. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, the the two wheels like, but see, I thought that might do it. Wow, invisible wall much? <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's it's really fine. Like just like just the tire should touch the ramp, more or less. I love how many ramp trucks there are in this area, actually. Well, that was not it at all. Invisible wall! Man, you got into a light fender bender there. Hey, get over it! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that guy pointed out to us that the uh, damage states are really generous to the car to make the car always look pretty, I've, uh, that's all I can uh -huh. see now. I mean, clearly that accident would have completely totaled this car. Yep. But because of the deal with Lamborghini, I'm sure the game is obligated to make the damage states be... There you go! How about that? You, you got a barrel roll, but yeah, landing it is the hard part. One and a half barrel rolls. I <laughs> think that counts. That's more than one barrel roll. Yeah, now just land one and a half barrel rolls. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the Probably not possible. <laughs> the literally impossible <laughs> challenge. Whoa! You're getting so awesome crashes trying to do this. Yeah. Oh no, your challenge. tail lights are broken. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've I literally rolled the car and the spoiler isn't even damaged. Ugh. <laughs> I hope you're gonna try the other challenge I gave you in this video. Oh I will. Okay. For sure. Wow, that's really annoying. I don't know where I'm going, or why I'm in first person. First person's fun. This isn't first person, this is hood view. Oh, excuse me. Well, I mean, it is right. technically first person, but it's not the inside the car first person that has all the it's cool... It's first person from the perspective of the vehicle. Yeah. If the person were the hood. Yeah, zero person, person, really. 
I'm gonna break this nightmare, even if I have to trash every damn. Yeah, so when I like you... how he tried to motivate that with the story. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, anytime you wreck a car, you get dialogue. Oh, so cool. sometimes if you jump into a car with a passenger and you know you get the little story flashes, you'll hear the conclusion of the story, as it were, when you wreck the car. Like, hmm. there's one where you've got a female passenger who's like, I don't care what you said, you can't scare me. And like you'll do jumps, you know, and like, and she's like yawn. And you're like, but we were airborne, and um, you know, if you get into crashes, so you're like, Jesus, Jim. Um, and when you finally wreck the car, she'd be like, okay, okay, you win. Here's twenty bucks. Just never do that. Oh, again. interesting. Yeah. I figured the problem was I wasn't in thrill camp. Yes. And barrel rolls are if, if, as thrilling as anything. Like, if you can't be thrilled by a barrel roll, what can you be thrilled by? Yeah, exactly. Although it's really hard to line it up. Oh, check that out. That's cool. Hey, pixelated shadows. <laughs> That's actually my online avatar. What is? Pixelated shadow. Actually, it's not, but it might be. That would actually be a pretty cool avatar. I was saying that to be silly, but I might actually use that like as an avatar. Username? Pixelated shadow. Username? Yeah, username okay. or something. I don't know. Pixelated shadow. What do you think? Uh... It's one of those things that sounds cooler than it actually is when you stop thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, I can't even hit the ramp truck in this <laughs> mode. That's really shocking to me. Because this is the mode you the use. The fishtailing looks pretty cool. The what? The fishtailing looks pretty cool. Yeah. Excellent. Wah wah. Two ramp trucks. <laughs> So, uh, I was gonna make a comment about the replay editor, which is a cool way that you can, like, after you do something neat, you can go into the replay editor and then change the camera mode, and, like, basically, you drive in whatever view you're comfortable to do something cool. Right. Then you go into the replay editor, you make it be thrill cam, and then you play it. Uh-huh. It's a pretty cool little feature. It's only available if you bought the copy new. Yeah. So then, the next tip I have is, if you actually decide to buy the copy of this game to use, there was a snafu with the North American versions of the game, where their, uh, their code to claim that didn't work. Yep. So anybody can access all of the features as if you had bought the game new, even if you're buying it used. I think so what you need Xbox. to do is go into the... I don't know if yeah, it's, on Xbox. Yeah, I don't know if it's true on PC downloads. I guess That's downloads excellent point. You know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, if you grab it on Xbox, just head into the Microsoft Store and, and buy the, like, digital pass or whatever they call it, but it's zero dollars. So you get access to the replay editor and a couple of cars and stuff. It's pretty cool. The problem is the video editor is really difficult to use on Xbox because just the menu navigation and stuff is very clunky. Yeah, I agree, but that's always going to be a problem when you're play trying to edit replays on Xbox, whether it's on well, yes. Halo, which has one of the best replay editors, or you know, I, I'm not, anything else. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, if you're interested in playing this game to make cool videos, you want it on PC. Yeah, that's probably true. I haven't tried the PC editor, but the, you're right about the Xbox editor being challenging. Well, this is exciting. Yeah, we're uh, we're just fooling around in the cool patch. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. On, I'm obviously not a Lamborghini expert. I just love big police chases, though. <laughs> Ugh, I cannot do a barrel roll to save my life. I think this the one and a half barrel head. rolls is the best the you're going to get. Help her. Yeah, Me? they're very difficult. I spent probably 10 minutes um, down on those the, the two ramps just below the Golden Gate Bridge, kind of near Daredevil Square area of Presidio, oh, just sucks. and I was, you know, doing the barrel rolls like 75% of the time, but landing them was impossible. Yep. So this is the challenge I gave. Although yes. you picked up a do really, a police chase in a ramp truck. You picked up one that started out very injured. So do you see what I did there? I ramped a ramp truck. Yes. Also, if a ramp truck lands on a police car, the police car is totaled. Oh. I know it's not in this game, but in real life, <laughs> the police car oh, is totaled. Dude, there's like a graveyard. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's the Presidio Cemetery, huh. which is a real thing. 
So the funny oh, thing, on. the great thing about doing it in a ramp truck is that ramp trucks are treated like right road. There. But yeah, by other exactly. cars in AI. So the police will literally drive all over you in an attempt to bring you down. I love it. I think the police are just programmed to rear end you, but in rear ending you, they just do crazy jumps. It's very entertaining. Uh -huh. I would have never thought to do this. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, I was driving a ramp truck and hit a policeman. Uh -huh. And then noticed, dude, this is. I, was, I did it because I wanted to redo the mission where you're, you know, escaping from police in a truck. And they just all... I wanted to see if I could do it again, where they all knock themselves out, rather than actually running away. Only instead right. of a truck, I found a ramp truck, and then noticed this started happening. It's so funny. It's like they do no damage to me. All they do is just jump off the edge. You gotta do the other fun thing about a ramp truck is they're completely bulletproof. Of course, I just managed to wreck that one, but it started at very low health. Yeah. My retirement party tomorrow night. Coming, buddy. Oh, by the smell of your breath, the party started already. So I know they're trying to make a drunk driving thing here about that guy at least retirement passenger. party, but he's not driving. Yeah. I'm the driver. I'm gonna get canned. Might as well get canned for something good, right? I do love these More canned lines of dialogue, though. Coming. Yeah. You ready, buddy? It's impressive oh, yeah. that they took the... <laughs> Jesus. Yes! yes! <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> It's impressive that they took the time to record top chase dialogue for every single passenger in the game. Yeah, I just love it. It's it's this attention to detail. It's so good. No, you can't this is just a charming game. I, I cannot recommend this game highly enough. It's really fun to just be in this world, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's fun to do this in one of the areas with lots of little tight alleys, like the place where you did the... Um, mission for Layla, the, the right. tr time trial, because then they ramp off you into buildings over and over and over, <laughs> instead of just onto the street. Oh man, I'm taking down so many of them. Oh, they're just taking down each other more, than, more often than not. Oh, this is fun. I know we're gonna finish up the storyline and see the epic conclusion of Driver San Francisco very soon, but to me, this is what the game is all about. <laughs> These emergent moments. <laughs> oh, they all drove around you that time. Uh. Hooray for ram trucks. At least one of them. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Copper. You almost stopped That's me. It's gonna cost some. <laughs> hey, he almost did a barrel roll. He did half a barrel roll. He's tough as they used to, right? <laughs> oh, man. So much more fun in Thrill Camp, too. Uh huh. I admit, I never thought to do it in Thrill Camp. Damn, there's spilled my drink there. Now I may have to go try it again. He should have got out of the way when he had a chance. Although, even in a ramp truck and even in Thrill Cam, it's damn near impossible to get busted. Uh-huh. Um, and I know that if a police car overturns, they're automatically out. Oh right. god, that bus took one out. Take it easy, jackass. There's a beverage here. They can build a company for that The music is very muted. Yeah. Pretty entertaining. Oh, I bet this because of Thrill Cam, because it's like you're outside of the car, the so you can't hear the stereo. Oh, it's, it's, it's the uh, closest thing to an actual hill. So they actually went out of their way to model the cable car tracks, but uh -huh. they didn't ever add any cable cars. Huh. Somewhere else True. You need to be have you hurry. ever seen a cable car? No, I am pretty yeah, sure they don't. Catch have up so I can flip them yeah, the bird. Surprising. The and cable cars are the uh, country's only moving historical oh, landmark. Bourbon on my pants. I don't know if that's related to why they couldn't license them. <laughs> Surprising to build a San Francisco game without a cable car. Yeah. They've finally run out of new police to throw at you, so it's just this guy More ramping himself over and over. More. 
<laughs> that would be awesome if you could be busted by the he guy on top of you. Of the way when he had a I wonder if you can. Well, yeah, you could. It was giving you the busted countdown. That's funny. Come here, You're trucky just gonna trucky. Take that from them? I'm gonna get busted by this Who's guy who's on his side. Expensive. Funny. So it's hard to escape from them, and I'm not gonna get very much willpower for doing this. <laughs> you get more willpower the faster you escape. Yeah, but you don't get significant amounts of hey, willpower. Did gosh. you know this trick? Yeah. When you drive into yeah. a garage area, you recharge all your health. Yep. Uh, there are very few instances in the main gonna cost the game something. where that comes in handy. It's only really useful for free run don't situations make like this one. There is one race I've seen in Forest Hill where you can detour through the garage if you need it, but you generally don't. Alright, well that was good times. Indeed. What's the last challenge here? I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, I just wanted to show off that I did finally get around to buying our car. Oh. And it only costs one willpower. Huh. So I don't know why I waited so long to buy it. Because it's not actually a very good car. Nor very interesting or foreign because we drive in it all the time. Mm -hmm. But whatever. I unlocked it. Yeah. I spent my one willpower. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's left? much that one was fairly tricky like even knowing what to do it took me a number of tries to actually get it was that a willpower one or? yeah that's as far as i know the top of the willpower chain i did get What's the your secret to the willpower ones well no you just have there's two stunts that earn you 100 willpower each um what are they Mute the video for 15 seconds, anyone who genuinely doesn't want to know this. Um, driving under a truck or doing a 360 spin. Oh, interesting. Um, so basically, you find a truck and you just bob in and out. <laughs> That's so funny. Yep. I did not know that trick at all. I would have had a yeah, very Yeah, I don't know that control. there's any way to pass, you know, 1,500 willpower in 60 seconds without gaming the system a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because the thing about the other one is you have to end the spin before you get the count. You can't just do it continuously. You have to do it, stop, do it, stop, over and over again. Close. Of course, 5,000 willpower is a chump chain yep. at this stage of the game, but... You're still oh, missing yeah. some easy movie tokens around here. I know, yeah, I need to do a pass where I try and just sweep them all up. That's definitely going to be our last uh, video, is doing all these movie challenges, which I'm very excited about attempting. Yeah. But I, uh, I'm i not as excited about earning all the movie tokens. <laughs> I wish they took a page from the Facebook games and allowed me to spend $1 to skip harvesting all of these movie tokens. Gosh, I'm so sorry that it didn't borrow Zika's <laughs> financial model. <laughs> Because I would totally pay Ubisoft. Oh, well, a lot of games do that actually. They do the what do they call it? The EA games all the Yeah, the I guess I'd be okay. Convenience pass, and it's one dollar or four dollars or something, and it unlocks every vehicle in the game. Huh. I guess I'm okay with that. It's like, sorry, I thought you meant like microtransactions, like you know, ten cents per token or something like that. No, no, I just mean like. Obviously, I can get all of the tokens. None of them are challenging. It's just really annoying. It takes like an hour and a half to get all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, mostly I, I've been getting them as I see them. There have been a few. I oh yeah, yeah, me too. Races. But the last couple, the last couple are what's going to be the most annoying. Mm -hmm. Is getting the you know the last ten. Yeah, and there's one of them that's in one of the Forest Hill back roads that I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to jump from to get it. Because I can't seem to build enough speed in the obvious run-up space, so. I think you just got to get the right car. I guess so. Well, probably we'll have that pretty soon. Okay. Cool. That was fun. Yeah, this was fun. Good little commentary, but looking forward to getting back to the story next chapter. I think we're pretty close to the end. Yeah. Rock and roll. All right. See I you then. See you then.